Thank you so much. Okay, so before we start at all, uh, I just want to say a big thank you for the invitation to come here. It's a real pleasure to be here with you in Kyoto. So thank you to Professor Kihara and thank you to JAR for all of the organisation to make this possible. Um, and so yes, this is my second visit to Japan and it's a real pleasure to be here. Um, one thing I would say, if you, if you want to talk to me, please just call me Ian. Um, don't call me Professor Douglas, I prefer you to just call me Ian. Um, that's just my preference. So, nice you. I'm Masao Iwagami. Uh, I'm at the moment an assistant professor in the Department of Health Service Research in Tsukuba. And also an assistant professor, uh, honorary assistant professor of London School of Hygiene and assisting distance learning courses of pharmacoepidemiology and non-infectious disease epidemiology. And I spent five years in the UK, one year master for epidemiology, in which he is now the course director. And also four years PhD under supervision of two nephrologists and him. And just came back last year. And then I thank I mean, Ja and Ian for inviting me to, to talk in the Friday morning. And if, if I believe that my role is to, to support the fluent communication between Ian and you. So that, so I, I, to be honest, I was very bad at English five years ago. Now still not very perfect, but if you have any questions in English or in Japanese, you can give questions in Japanese so that I, I will help translate <laughs> and to make a fluent communication between students and Ian. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you, Marcel. Okay, well, thank you all and welcome again. Um, what I want to do, first of all, is before we talk about any e-health data or drugs, I'm going to just talk a little bit about the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and bring you greetings from, from there. Okay, so it's a, it's a very large school of public health in the UK and we were named in the UK they have a competition every year and in 2016 we were named the University of the Year in, and this is quite unusual for a, a very specialised institution like the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine um, so we were very pleased to be awarded this and we've also received some further prizes in 2017 and we're ranked sixth in the world for both social sciences and public health. Um, so we're very proud of these, of these achievements. Um, the school itself was, was formed back in the late 1800s and originally the school was in fact a hospital ship. So it wasn't even on land, it was a boat in the sea from the time when lots of people from the UK would go overseas to do business or whatever it was they were doing and then when they came back they would bring back diseases from all over the world by accident and so this ship was outside the country so that people with their diseases from all over the world could be treated on this ship and then over the years they gradually moved on land to London and then in the 1920s the building that we are in today was built and so we've been there ever since. So that was the origin of the school. Um, I'm not sure we seem to be having some, some slide difficulties. Um, so here we go, so we were founded in 1899. Um, as well as doing research on tropical diseases, the school or members of the school also pioneered research into the effects of cigarette smoking. And so it was two researchers at the school Richard Doll and Austin Bradford Hill, who originally realised that smoking was the cause of lung cancer due to some groundbreaking research they did. And particularly Austin Bradford Hill was also one of the very early pioneers of the randomised controlled trial. So they were all um, originally led by, by people from the school. Um, we now have around 3,000 staff at the school, some based in London, but many based overseas. For example, we have two 
large units in both the Gambia and Uganda and we have around 4,000 students at the school and they are from over 150 different countries. So for example, I organise the MSc in Epidemiology and we have 60 students a year and they come from around 30 different countries. So it's a very international, multicultural environment and so as well as learning about epidemiology and statistics, we learn a very large amount from the students themselves about the countries they come from, the different health problems that they have, and it's one of the big strengths of the school is that it's such a diverse international population. Um, doesn't matter that you can't see the slides because at the minute it's just me telling you things about the school, so it's okay. Um, the, the key mission of the school is to improve health and health equity, so equality in health, in both the UK but also internationally. And we have a lot of key partnerships throughout the world of people doing similar kinds of research to help us to achieve those kinds of aims. And so there's another reason why it's a great pleasure to be here in Kyoto and to meet many of you. So we, we're having a slight, <laughs> slight technical, <laughs> technical hitch, as you can see, but we'll get there. Mm -hmm. What else can I be telling you about whilst we're waiting? Uh, one thing I'm going to say, uh, Jury, <laughs> thank you, Musa. So it's clear that lots of you are from a background where you are doing electronic health record research. Some of you are not involved in that research. Either background is fine for this course and I think that you could come from either background and hopefully learn. What I would say is, if you, particularly if you are involved in that kind of research and there's anything you want to ask me about during the two days but it isn't covered, then just come and talk to me about it anyway during breaks or you could maybe get my email address but I'm very happy to talk to you about anything that isn't covered on the, the presentations. Okay, so how are we doing? Um, we're nearly there. So the, <laughs> so the school also has, do you all have versions of my presentation on your screens? Oh, so you can see what I might be talking about. So we also at the school have, as well as students that study in London, we have students that study from distance and we have distance learning courses. We also have a large range of free online courses that students can take all over the world. So feel free to have a look at things that are available and things that might be of use to you. And then finally, I bring you greetings from the Electronic Health Records Research Group at the London School of Hygiene. This was, on any one day, you will not find everybody from the EHR group available for a photograph. So this is probably half or two thirds of the group, I would say is probably true. There are probably 40 or 50 people at the school who are using electronic health records to do their main research and amongst those maybe 10 or 12 only do pharmacoepidemiology but broader across the group many people will do a range of projects and sometimes they will do pharmacoepidemiology so there's a, a broad range of research interests within that group. Okay so that's a little bit about the School of Hygiene but I also want to bring you greetings from the original area that I come from in the UK and I wonder if anybody, there's no reason you would, I wonder if anybody can guess from these four pictures where I may come from in the UK. Any ideas? Do you recognise what any of these things are? Yorkshire pudding? Yes. Who said Yorkshire pudding? It is, so this is Yorkshire pudding. Um, anybody heard of Yorkshire pudding? This is a savoury batter that we cook and then we eat with roasted meat 
and gravy, other things. Do you know what this is? Apparently this is the number one favourite dog breed in the world. It's the Yorkshire Terrier. You can guess where I'm from. It's a place called Yorkshire. Um, this is, well, I'll show you what they all are. So Yorkshire Pudding, Yorkshire Terrier, the Yorkshire Dales. And this is a, a kind of hat called a flat cap, which originated in Yorkshire, apparently in the 1300s, and hasn't changed much in style ever since. And if you're interested, so this is the, the county, it's in the northern part of England, and this is where I'm from. Okay.